Hello, Kate and friends. Um, this is Cal. I know I promised to make you a video to explain how my my glass bead microscope works. It's actually pretty simple. As you can see, these two little tubes, little black tubes, have each a glass bead in them. And uh, the diameter of the glass bead is probably about six seven millimeters and the tube well how the glass bead got in there um i didn't make these my myself i uh i was giving these by my boss actually because he's also a geek like me uh, i think these tubes are 3d printed and the glass bead is right embedded in them while it's being printed i guess and so the way it works is pretty simple Here's a piece of blue tack, and you just wrap it around, and here's the iPad, right? The iPad with the camera, and just stick it above the camera. And you want to make sure that you want to make sure that um, the lens is smack in the middle because with the lens in place the field of the the field of view of the camera will be narrower than normal and so you get a black circle let's see if let's see if You see, can you see well enough? Let's see. Uh, it's too much reflection here, I think. That's a lot of reflection. Mm. Maybe, let me just turn this around. Hopefully, less reflection this way. Um, hmm. Still can't see anything. Way, way, way too. It's way too bright outside. Let me get inside the switch. Staircase. Okay, there you go. Much better. It's too bright outside. That's why. So, you see this? You see, you get a huge, big circle right here, and you know the corners got black. That's because the field of view got narrowed. And the camera is right here. The camera is right behind my finger here. So you see. Now you see my fingerprints. And this is with one lens, and the mag and actually, what happens is that the magnification, the lens itself, I don't think it actually does a lot of magnification. What really happens is that it brings the lens macro, so that you, the working distance from the the camera and the object, got shorter, which is why you can you can see objects much bigger you see it's kind of cool uh, now let me bring the other lens and stack it so you see here's the other lens and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a little bit of the gum, the blue tag here. I'm going to stack the other one on top. 
and I'm just gonna stick it with the blue tack. And it's good enough for, for most purposes. Whoops. Okay, let's try again. Try again. And when you have two lenses stacked like this, you need to be even more careful in centering the lens with respect to the camera. Because now the field of view is even narrower. As you can see here, look how small it got. It was like, with one lens, it was this big, all right? Now with two lenses, you get only this. But with two lenses like this, it's you get a, a much more macro view of the object. So here it is. Now I have something, something new to show you. interesting to show you now. This. You see what this is? This is an abandoned paper wasp nest that I picked up a while ago. So let's look at this thing under the, the microscope. And let's see if I can get stuff in focus. It is pretty hard because with two lenses like this, with the two lenses, the object is almost touch is almost touching the lens. You can't go much much further, and because the object is almost touching the lens, uh, you block out a lot of light which is problematic. So the best way to, is, if you're going to use two lenses like this, is to have a light source that is shining from the side, so that some light can, uh, how to say it, some light can just penetrate from the side of the lens. Okay, it's hard to see really uh, okay you kind of see see you kind of see the structure of the you know the paper wasp nest that's how they make this papery stuff and why a paper wasp nest because I'm generally fascinated by Hymenoptera, which means ants, bees, wasps, hornets in general. Yeah, it's very hard. Now, let's see what happens if I take out one lens. With only one lens, with only one lens, the view is less macro, but it's easier to work with because the, because now the object doesn't ha doesn't have to be touching the lens. See, it's a lot easier to to work with. I still I still kind of see the you know the structure of the the paper. See, it's kind of cool. Hmm. And sometimes you have to fight with the auto, uh, with the autofocus of the iPad, so you have to position the object at just the right distance so that you get the focus. Otherwise, the iPad will be struggling to get a focus. And that demonstrates that demonstrates how it works.
So again, a glass bead in a plastic tube, 3D printed, and then just stick it on to uh, an iPad or iPhone or whatever sm smartphone with blue tags. And that's it. And of course, using you can you can take pictures with the with their uh, camera. And I hope that helped. See you next time.